A secret lab at the West LA VA using your taxpayer dollars experimenting on cats with sometimes deadly results. Investigative reporter David Goldstein has the controversial and emotional story. It's apparently been happening for years in West LA, but few people outside a group of doctors and scientists knew what was really going on. These are the pictures. Cats hooked up to electronic monitors, implanted with electrodes, eventually euthanized. All in the name of science, and you're paying for it. The VA is the only federal agency doing this, using your taxpayer dollars at three facilities nationwide, including a secretive lab here at the West LA VA. It sounds sick. Yeah, it's, it is. Justin Goodman is with the White Coat Waste Project. They sued the VA to get these pictures and documents of them experimenting on cats. These are healthy cats who are purchased from commercial breeders uh, by the VA with our tax dollars, brought into the laboratory, locked in a tiny cage, mutilated, uh, tortured, have chemicals injected into them. Uh, asphyxiated uh, and then are killed and dissected. Take Artemis. Documents show he's a one year old cat purchased by the West LA VA, described as purring, friendly, and curious. The procedure they did is called a head implant, where they drill holes in his skull to test for sleep patterns. After three years of tests, the documents show the cat is euthanized due to completion of the study. It's exploiting veterans to basically get tax money to torture cats. That's what's happening here. It's indefensible. Are they saving veterans' lives with these experiments? Absolutely not. Did your organization know about this secretive lab? No, we didn't know about this one. Madeline Bernstein is president of the L.A. chapter of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. It blows my mind that we can fight a pandemic with a code, but they have to bash a cat in order to come up with some sleep pattern. It, it really doesn't make sense in 2021. The VA was called on the carpet by Congress last year to explain what's going on. They admit almost $5 million of taxpayer money has been spent on testing cats just in the West LA VA and claim it does benefit vets because sleep disorders are associated with many of the consequences of combat experience, including PTSD. But Bernstein doesn't buy it. And the studies that are done on a cat's brain, uh, most medical experts say will not replicate in the human brain. After congressional inquiries, the VA claims to be ending the secret experiments later this year. Do you believe them? Um, based on our past experience with the VA, we always have to be very careful uh, accepting anything they say at face value. And Congress isn't taking any chances. A bill called the CATS Act has been introduced that will permanently ban the use of taxpayer money for experimenting on any animals. I'm David Goldstein, CBS 2 News. The VA was also doing experiments on dogs, but that was banned in 2017. And do you have a tip for David? Just call us at 818-655-2442 or email goldsteininvestigates at cbs.com.